In today's Health Connection, breast implants have been linked to a rare form of cancer, and now the FDA says at least nine people have died. Joining me now is Dr. Micah Birch of Texas Oncology Baylor. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Birch. You're welcome. Well, first, let's start with an explanation of the FDA's update on breast implants and their connection to this cancer. What is it? So the FDA re released a report uh, today showing an association between this rare form of lymphoma called anaplastic large cell lymphoma and breast implants. So what causes it? So we don't exactly know just yet. This is very rare and still being studied. So we're not sure exactly what it is about the breast implants themselves that's causing women to get this rare form of lymphoma. So it's so rare. It sounds like nine people have died. How likely is it to actually happen to uh, the number of women who get breast implants in a year or so? So it's extremely rare uh, for overall women who are getting breast implants uh, for one to get this type of lymphoma. Over 300 cases have been reported in total. Okay, so what, how is this treated if it's caught and can it be, tr be treated and cured? Yeah, absolutely. So it's very treatable and it's very curable. Oftentimes it can be cured with just removing the breast implant with just surgery alone. Sometimes in more advanced cases, it might require radiation or chemotherapy. So does this mean people should not get breast implants or should they just change the way they're screened afterwards? Yeah, I, because of the rarity of this lymphoma, I don't think we can t say right now that women should do anything different other than have a real discussion with their doctor and certainly their plastic surgeon before getting breast implants about the rare risk of this type of lymphoma. Also, I would encourage women who have breast implants, if they have any uh, form of pain or swelling or masses around the implant, to get checked out by their doctor or their surgeon. And certainly also if they had other symptoms related to lymphoma, like unusual weight loss or night sweats, to also seek medical attention. All right, Dr. Micah Birch, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Now to a consumer.